the turtle on the wood background. So what we're going to do, we'll paint our turtle, our turtle shell, and then we'll go back into our background. This is your project. You could pretty much do any colors you'd like. I'm going to keep it fairly simple. I'm going to do a green turtle. I'm going to do a green and brown shell. And in the background, I'm going to do all stripes of different color blues. So the first step, I actually, the paint that's in the little palette, you might just have to mix around a little. I'm going to mix around my green wash my brush. You'll need to have some water and a paper towel nearby. And I'm going to mix around my white too. Is the first step I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add some eyes. So on my turtle's body, on his head, I am just going to add like two little white little sections like that. After I do this, I'm just going to wash and dry my brush. And then I can start pretty much painting the turtle green. So I'm just gonna paint him all green, going around those eyes. If you wanna make it a lighter color green, you could add some yellow, to uh, some white to it. This is acrylic paint, so if you have other paints that you wanna use too. Go for it. You can make a red turtle or a purple turtle. It does not matter. When you're going around those eyes, just take your time. I'm not wasting too much time doing the middle because we are going to put our shell to cover that middle section so it doesn't really matter so to this shell i'm actually going to try and make it a lighter color of green so i'm going to add some white to my green as i paint now once again you could do this any colors that you like So there I have my green shell. After I do that, I'm gonna let those two both dry and then we'll come back and add detail to them. So I'm gonna let them both dry. While that is drying, you could paint your wood block. Now you either, you either have a square or a rectangle and you could paint it however you'd like. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna make different stripes of blue paint. So I'm gonna use the light blue and the dark blue that you have. And I'm just going to put different stripes of paint all over here. So I'm going to put like a little wiggly line. Make that a little thicker. And then I'm just going to paint in between those. I'm just using that that light green, that light blue. And I'm going to leave a space and continue doing same thing using that light blue
So then the remaining spaces you could either fill in with dark blue or I'm gonna mix like a little lighter blue even using a little white. But you could use a dark blue to make purple to mix it if you'd like. At this point, I'm gonna take some dark blue and I'm just gonna add lines of dark blue to give it some movement. Like little wave lines. Kind of mimic what we did on the there I have my ocean is finished so I'm gonna go back to my turtle I'm gonna find my turtles body I'm gonna put another coat of green on him just to make sure I covered everything taking time to go around his eyes very carefully again And then I'm gonna to go to my shell. To my shell, what I we're just gonna add a little detail. So I am going to take some brown, mix it up, and I am just going to put little brown dashes going around the whole edge of my turtle shell. In the middle, I am just gonna put like different, bigger like shape, bigger rectangles. And I'm just gonna fill that shell up with a whole bunch of shapes. Inside, I'm gonna do triangles to kind of fill in this little area. And there I have my turtle shell. Ta-da! So I'm gonna set that aside while that's drying. I'm gonna take my smaller brush. I want you to stir around some black paint. We're gonna work on our eyes next. So I am just going to add a black circle in each of those eyes. I'm just adding a little black circle. I'm gonna have those dry for a second. Once I put those black dots, I'm gonna let that dry a little before I add my final little detail. So what you could do at this point is you can make like a little lighter green, the same green that we kind of used for our shell. And you could add a little detail to like the arms. 
you kind of like put a little color into it. So I'm putting just along the side, I'm putting a little white and green. Give it a little texture. I'm using my finger to give it a little texture because their skin is pretty leathery. So I just added a little dark green, a little light green so that when I put my shell on, a whole bunch of stuff. If you feel like you put too much, I feel like I put too much over here, you could go back and put some green on top of it and just blend it in. All right, so the one of the last steps is we're gonna take our back of our paintbrush. Back of the paintbrush, you're gonna dip it in a little bit of white, a teeny bit of white, that's too much. A teeny bit of white, that's perfect. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna put a little white dot in each eye, one, two little tiny little dot in each eye. At this point, we're gonna let everything on the turtle dry and then we are going to glue it together. So I let my turtle dry a little bit and at this point, we are going to glue it. So you could use any glue. I'm using a wood glue, but it's basically just a basic Elmer's. You could use school glue. You could probably use a glue stick too. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little glue on the back of the shell, glue the shell to the turtle's body. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of my turtle and glue that. Just watch out for that shifting shell. I'm gonna glue it. I like to hang it off the little wood piece a little bit. So it looks like he's swimming in our little ocean. So I hope you guys had a great time painting with me and I'll see you soon.